I'm at the point where I can actually kind of demonstrate this. One of the first things you've got to do is ignore the fact that I'm hovering over the void and the fact that it is still there. It's not how it works. Oh, God damn it! It's not going to throw me in this. I could cancel. It is. Let's try this again. On the Earth Junction, you have to complete the tasks of defeating 150 Frontier Grenier, do three E-Prime missions, and complete any alert. My problem here is I could have sworn it said Earth, and even clan members would tell me it didn't, and I wasn't listening. And you have to complete the Once Awake quest. Then, go here. Weirdly, you've got to have a gun out to do this. And I don't know why. But... There it is. Um. Okay, can I have anything? Oh, it's just done. Ah, what the? Okay, then this guy is going to come alive. This is why it's called Spectres of the Rail. And he's gone. Because there is a spectre on the rail, and it seems to have been the frame I was using at the time. Not sure if that's set to be that way or... I think I just shot him into non-existence. Yep, I actually managed to squeeze him through the gap and he's no longer on the map. And then by clicking on this, this should give me the rewards and just allow me to... freely move, I guess. But this is quite a cool little animation here. Kaboom. That is really nice. After that, mission rewards, there it is, that's what we're after here, the Void Relic segment. But we don't care about that. Install segment. Void Relics. Void relics. Uh, wow, actually that's... You need Void... Orders. So what happens in the Void Relic Reinforcement, whatever this thing is called, is, and I've lost it now, it's that one is the one I was doing. This is, I'm using this one as the example because it's the one I've got the most of, but you need to get Void Traces that you get from doing Rift missions. Uh, they're actually called something else, but we'll get to that. And when you've got them, you can basically upgrade the key. And as you can see, it increases the chance of that rare thing Popping up, we're taking um, Vorban Prime helmet, your optics, is going to be really weird to get used to. As the example, in every upgrade, it goes up, but at the same time, it also lowers the chance for everything else. So if you're aiming for the really rare thing, I mean, really, it takes the former and makes it... Oh, really, Ordis, could you just go away for a second? The way you get these is these replaced void keys in the drop table, so defense missions, survival missions, you'll get these as the rewards. The Void Key Pack is now a pack for these from the syndicates. You can get these using syndicate rep, you'll only get three though. But what you do is you then take that and you go to this symbol, which is for the Rift, and I'm going to have to do the Eurokan one just because I can and because it's there. And as I say, going to stick with this one because it's the one I have the most of and you have to equip them for the mission so you can actually go through and you can choose what type of thing that you actually want to get so you can choose from any of these and these are the things that you will have a chance of getting you still only have one thing that pops up but you can de you can choose basically which one of these will drop the stuff that you want and if none of the Meso ones will work. You can always choose a different one. And these ones have different items in them. Kind of like the tower keys did before. It's pretty much similar to that, but increasing the chance of that rare thing is going to be worth it. Because you use them to open the void fissure. And when you open it, basically all hell seems to break loose. And it's a weird thing because it just kind of starts spewing out enemies and what you have to do is kill them, pick up the thing the drop, it looks like it's about 10 per one so you need to pick up 10 of them 
take them back to the fissure and close it. And when you close it, you'll get something. It actually just pops up as a, kind of like Sabotage Missions does. It's just a box that says you've got something, but it's got a question mark in it. Then at the end of the mission, you will basically have a choice. If you're in there with four people, you'll have a choice of four different things that you can choose from. Everybody can choose the same thing. You can all pick different things. You will, you can kind of see what everyone else is going for. But obviously, if you all go in with the same kind of thing, somebody might get the Vorban's Neuroptics, as I used as this example. I didn't get that. I got the bloody... Either AK Broncos. But if it had have popped up, obviously other people can take the reward that I've got as the reward that they get. You can do the same thing. You can take the reward somebody else has got as the reward that you get. Which makes this kind of better. It's not, you do a Tower 3 exterminate, you get to the end, you get one thing. So then you've got to do it all over again. Then you've got to do it again and again and again and again and again. It is going to take a lot of the farming out of this but at the same time, not. Because to get those crystals, to mess with the um, basically those key type things, you still have to do these missions, but you have to have key equipped to actually do them in the first place. Which is just weird. And the reason I did it in the Orokin is because, well, it was the Void, and that's still in the Void. And honestly, it, until I did that, I didn't know that this whole place existed.